All right. Okay, guys, I am in the Goodwill in Boundbrook, New Jersey. I just left to rummage sales. I left my GoPro in the car. I'm normally in and out of here and I don't find anything. Today, I found a whole cart full. So I'm like, you know what? I will do a haul, but let me just pull up my phone and do a little bit of video in store. So this is what my cart is looking like. Look at this giant chalkboard. Totally vintage. Gotham New View. I just thought that it was like really cool for $3.99. I can't pass this up. Never bought or sold a chalkboard, but I am now. And my cart is absolutely full. There are a couple things in there that I'm going to keep for myself. But yeah, holy moly. This, this is like the last aisle that I really haven't looked at. They brought one new cart out, which I just looked at. And um, I'm going to check this aisle. Oh, this is a really cute jewelry box. It's got some beads, some loose beads. It's got some staining. It's musical and it's hand painted though. I think it's kind of neat. Mm. I guess it's nothing special. It's not signed. Some candles and uh, stuff like that. I don't know if I'm going to find anything in this aisle. Um, I filmed the rummages and I was like, well, I'm probably not going to find anything in here. Boy, was I wrong today. Today is one of those days where Goodwill is, Goodwill is hidden. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Triple threat nail kit. It looks like there's a bunch of those in there. What is this little thing? Oh, these are um, coasters, Jason coasters. Musical related. I wonder if that was someone with the, uh, the chalkboard. All right, just clear glass. This is pretty basic over here, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything else in this aisle. Oh, these are Disney. I think these, oh, these are the Disney Funko uh, empty containers. I've seen those before. I don't know what that is. All right. Now I start filming and I see nothing. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't have much room left in my cart, to be honest. Holy moly, this is super cute. Sweet and low. This is like totally, totally vintage. I have to get that. I don't even know how to push this cart with one hand. All right, I haven't checked these little end caps. Crockett Farm, it's chipped, whatever that is. Oh, this company makes like bears. I've seen the bears before. Second nature. Oh, this is a little mushroom candle topper, which is broken. So many times when I pick these up, they're broken. Cancun, a lot of vacation collectible type things. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. This one's really cute. It's kind of cute. All right, I don't really see anything here that I'm gonna grab. This is cute though. San Francisco music box. Kitties all have chipped ears. I really should have just picked my phone up and started filming right away, but I was like, okay, I found this. I'm not going to find anything else. And then I did. I might stick around and wait for the next cart to come out. This place seems really good today. Um, I did get a pair of shoes, even though I don't tend to look at their shoes a whole lot. They're usually priced up, but I did get two pair of sandals for $9.99 a piece. I'll show you those in the haul. These are actually really cool bands. 1999. That's that's what I'm telling you. Toms. This is a nice pair of Toms. 999. Toms kind of fell off. Not 
I don't think too many people are wearing Toms these days. New Balance, 1999. Oh, I thought maybe we had another cart coming out, but I don't yeah. see it yet. Don't see it coming out yet. These pops are all stained up. 9.99. These Asics are nice. Oh, yep. These Asics are actually pretty nice. But 19.99, they're they're staying there. All right. There were some plates I was contemplating on picking up, but I think I might grab them even though they're eight dollars a piece. These little things. These little erasers, maybe? I think they might be. I am really excited to show you guys this haul. $2.99 a piece for these coasters. That's wild. There are a couple of these little mirrors. These are newer, made to look vintage, I believe. And they're pretty cool though. This one's $4.99. And then there's a bigger one here. That one's $5.99. These are the plates. I think these are the luncheon plates. I wish I had something to measure them. I think these are the luncheon versus the salad. And they do sell for a decent amount. I mean, that would be, what would that be? $32 for all of them? I don't know, that's a little pricey. All right, I think for that price, I am going to have to leave those plates behind. And I think I'm about to leave the store now. It's a cute little light up whale. This looks like a wine bottle holder. That's kind of neat. But yeah, I think we're gonna head out of here now. Okay guys, so we are gonna get into this Goodwill haul, kind of kicking myself for not taking my GoPro in and filming a little bit more, but it was after some rummage sales. I was on my way home. I just decided to pop in and I thought that's, you know, what, what it was gonna be. Uh, but probably every 10 trips to this particular Goodwill, I do fill up a cart. Uh, today was one of those days or actually, Friday was one of those days. I am filming this haul on a Sunday. Today is haul day. I need to get this stuff filmed and processed and I have so much stuff right now, which is an amazing problem to have. So anyhow, um, went in and just started finding stuff. It was so crazy. Anyway, I spent a little bit over $100. I think it was like maybe 103 can't totally remember. I did get some things for personal use. Let's just jump into it. First thing I got is a sealed, sealed Disney Dorables Village Peak, 24 pieces. This is new and sealed. I'm going to run the heat gun over this sticker to take it off without damaging the package. I hope. Uh, pretty sure it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, pretty excited to find this. I just sold a Disney Dorables lot for $90. Um, I forget how many figures it was, but it did have one good one in, which was the um, Jack Skellington. He is a little rare, the particular one that I had. So that is why that lot sold so high. But anyway, this should do well. It was $5.99. Um, I did get two of these. Uh, Blue Sky by Heather Goldmink. And I just love them. I love Halloween decor. And, you know, you put a little tea light in the back. It kind of illuminates. These were a little pricey. They were $6.99 a piece. I'll probably get about $25, $30 per, 
per building. Um, uh, I would say maybe 30, 35. We'll see what, what I get them listed for. But anyhow, this one is super cute. Spooky ghost house. This one might be my favorite. Howling Hills Hotel. Um, <laughs> the bellboy, the housekeeper. This one is so cute. I love this one. And it looks like it's in great, great condition. Then... I also got this one, Hotel of Horrors, Vacancy. Um, this one was $6.99 as well. It does have, where is it? Right on the back, I noticed a little tiny, a little tiny nick right there. But yeah, that one might go a little bit cheaper. This, I was so excited. This is like my favorite find. You guys know I'm like longer burger nuts, right? So this is the, the 2014 Christmas Collection stocking basket with this lid. This is a pretty rare lid to find, a pretty rare basket overall. I mean, there are some out there, but um, this is just a really nice one. I wonder if it's got the liner in there. I'm gonna have to rip some of this tape off and check. Anyway, it was $3.99, which is freaking amazing. So, 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 so stoked about this one. Um, oh, and this tape was, was okay. It didn't really leave any residue or anything at all, which is, which is great. I am going to take the heat gun though and get this sticker off. Okay. So it does have, it's got the liner and it's got the plastic protector. So this thing is complete. Now, the only thing is it does have a few imperfections on the edge of the wooden lid. I almost, they almost look like they were there during production because they are painted over and I don't see any indication that they were like nicked afterwards because I don't see any like solid coloring of the wood. I could be wrong though. I mean, I will note it in the listing, but yeah, super stoked over this basket definitely my favorite find i did get a couple of these mr christmas um and i think that this railway station was a set mr christmas railway thing was maybe like a set they look like they match but they did have them separately uh 2.99 and 4.99 this particular one and i'll probably just sell them separately because i imagine there was a third piece that i just don't have um these take batteries and they illuminate there is this building is listed on ebay for like 32.99 so we'll see what happens i'm not sure what i'm gonna end up pricing those at yet i did get a couple things for personal use i got this method daily shower spray <laughs> I don't know, how many daily how many daily shower sprays can you have i don't know but i figure i'll try this one for 4.99 it was probably like 7.99 8.99 in the store so it's a little bit of a discount and then I got this um, Method Antibacterial Bathroom Cleaner. I don't know. It's from Grove Collaborative. So we'll see. It was also $4.99. So I'm going to keep those. And then I also did get... I should sell these. I have like... I am not even a super big cook, okay? Like sometimes I'll get in the mood and I'll cook something. You know, I like to try to cook, if I am cooking, I like to try to cook something that's going to last me like three days. Like I can just eat the same thing for three days and I don't have to worry about cooking because cooking takes a lot of time, right? Um, or if I do cook, like I'll buy like some kind of like fresh fi fish or something that you can just easily throw in the oven. Um, but for some reason, I'm obsessed with cooking utensils, I guess. I, I have like an overabundance. It's like mugs. It's ridiculous, especially these stupid mix and chops. I have no idea how many I have of these. I've mentioned these before and I've purchased them and I've gone ahead and sold them because I'm like, I really don't need another one. But I did pay up for these. I They were $3.99. I like to find these for like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars tops. $3.99, a little crazy. I got, I just, I could not take it out of the cart. <laughs> what a nut job. Uh, anyhow, I also got this Pampered Chef scoop and serve spatula i think i have to keep this one too <laughs> i don't have this one and i've never 
seen such a big scoop spatula. I mean, I just think this is ingenious. I, I don't know. I think I have to keep this too. So I think I'm going to keep both of them. They don't make this style anymore. And the new style is just horrible. So I think I might keep this as a backup in case like my other 14 happened to, I don't know. I don't know what would possibly happen to them, but, uh, yeah. What, what issues, right? Why am I buying all these utensils? I'm a utensil hoarder and a mug hoarder. Um, it sounds worse than it is. I like, it's not like my kitchen's overflowing with this stuff. Anyhow, <laughs> moving on. I got this really nice, um, Polish pottery napkin holder. I mean, it is a little small for a napkin holder, but I think it would hold some nice little square napkins. Uh, it was $2.99. thought that was really nice. This came out on a fresh cart, as well as this really nice Polish pottery piece. This one was $3.99. Nice big gravy boat, or I don't know. I think you would use this for gravy, right? I don't know. Anyway, two nice pieces. Two nice pieces of Polish pottery. I did get that giant chalkboard. And I'll pop up a photo of it here because I don't want to drag that all the way in. I think it's really cool. I could not find any comps for it um, for that particular... I mean, I barely found... I, I don't think people are selling chalkboards very often because it's kind of like one of those items that no one wants to mess with except for me. So I, I'm going to list it high and see what happens. And yeah, I mean, it can't be any worse than shipping a piece of large artwork. So I'm going to sell this chalkboard. $3.99. I could not leave it. I thought it was just super cool. Uh, it's vintage. It's from the Gotham company. And yeah, it's going on eBay. Okay probably is already on eBay by the time you see this video because I have a couple videos that are going to be out in front of this one, which you'll have already seen. Anyway, I did get a couple articles of clothing that came off the new racks as they were rolling them out. I did get this Wrangler Cowboy Cut regular fit men's shirt. This was $5.99. I just thought it was cool. It's got regular buttons. It doesn't have like the really cool snap buttons or anything, but I thought the pattern was great. Uh, I also picked up this Peter Millar golf, um, golf polo, basically. It's got skulls on it, and it looks like beverages and grapes. I don't know. It's kind of a, kind of an interesting print, so I decided to go ahead, go ahead and grab that. Peter Millar Summer Comfort, size XL. Basically a golf shirt. I got this Free People size medium and how much the Peter Millar was also $5.99. This is a Free People. It's kind of like a sheer cropped top $5.99. Uh, let's see what else did I get. I did get this Sweet and Low. This does not sell for a whole lot, but I just thought it was super cool. It's got a little bit of wear. It was $2.99. Um, and I've honestly never even seen Sweet and Low except in packets. Um, but maybe maybe it's sold in like box form where you would like pour it in this container. Uh, I don't know. I just think it was so cool. Like it's just chrome. It's got like, I don't know. I just think it's kind of neat. I don't use Sweet and Low or anything, but um, yeah, I just thought it was cool. Uh, then I did pick this up off the fresh cart that came out. It is a Waterford, the Romance Collection, Bride and Groom Cake Topper. And I first looked at it and I was like, mm, I don't know. And then I looked up comps and I'm like, for $9.99, I am definitely going to get this. It doesn't look like it's ever been used for a cake topper. It is clean. It's got no icing in it or anything like that. It still has the Waterford Marquis sticker on it. And yeah, you know, some people, she is, I think holding, oh, those are flowers. I was going to say they're grapes, but they're, I think they're flowers. <laughs> that would be weird for someone to be holding a bunch of grapes, right? Unless you're getting married at a winery. I mean, I don't know. Might be a little different, but unique. Um, 
Anyhow, I've sold some cake toppers in the past and you know, sometimes people want to get a cake topper that matches the bride and groom's color of their hair or their eyes or you know, whatever. So this is kind of nice because nearly anyone could use this particular model, right? Like, um, because it's clear, it's clear crystal. So yeah, pick that one up. I mean, it's definitely been out of the package for sure, but for whatever reason, it doesn't appear that they've ever used it. So I did get a pair of uh, shoes. Their shoes tend to be a little bit higher there, but they had these in the sandal section. Oh, I have to unhook both of these. They have these hooked together. These are Melissa's. If you guys are familiar with Melissa, um, I often find the mini Melissa's for the children. And those are super cool, like little jelly sandals or whatever. And they always have like this nice smell to them. I know that sounds weird. I'm smelling a shoe, but I'm actually smelling like the little, the rubber or whatever. So I think these have been very, very gently used. They are a US size six. I am in like the size six shoe business lately. Um, they actually look bigger, but I guess not. So they're like a platform, platform sandal, $9.99. And then, there goes the sweet and low, but no, it's okay. And then I also got these, I'm going to try to take a magic eraser. They have a little mark right here. They don't look free bloom, they're called. Oh, it's a sample. These were a sample. I mean, they actually look barely used so I'm not sure maybe just from like wherever they were that they got dirty or something I mean look at the soles they don't like that white tag's not even you know messed up I don't know I just thought they were funky and they were cool and I personally wouldn't wear them but I think somebody's going to uh all right do I have anything else from the Goodwill. I don't think so. I think that is the entire haul. However, sometimes I do miss something because I'm bringing so much stuff in at the same time. I also have my rummage sale stuff and everything else, but I think this is it, which super cool Goodwill haul. I am so happy with it. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone's out there finding great stuff now. The The season is starting in most places in the United States. I think maybe up further north, it's maybe going to take a little bit longer, but um, I hope everyone is out there finding profitable items to resell. If you are an active reseller, that's for sure. Um, if you just watch these videos and don't resell, then, then I guess if you're not out picking, just enjoy the video. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up, guys. Um, until the next one. Bye.